My dear friends, we've all heard the stories that emerged from the Victorian Parliamentary Inquiry and the Royal Commission into institutional responses to child sexual abuse. The repercussions are still being dealt with by many of us. I'd like to update you on the wonderful work that is being done to ensure that children in our care are in the safest possible hands. The Victorian Parliament has legislated for a raft of measures to enhance the safety of children. Throughout our parishes, we have been working for the past 18 months to implement these changes, and I trust that many of you will by now have seen changes around your schools and parishes reflecting this work. With these measures in mind, we are first reviewing our dealings with victims in response to what they are telling us were our failings in the past. Second, we are working to a better understanding and trying to change the institutional mindsets that allowed such horrors to be perpetrated in our midst. And third, we are creating a new era in our church where the welfare of our children and other vulnerable people is being put ever more explicitly and centermost in all the decisions we make. These measures, called the Child Safe Standards, reflect the findings of the parliamentary inquiry that institutions where children were safe had certain factors in common. It's these factors that have now been legislated for and that we are implementing across our parishes and schools. Across our Archdiocese, we are 100% committed to implementing these standards and I urge each of you to join me in supporting our parish priests as they introduce these measures. In most cases, we are building further on the policies and procedures we already had in place. One of the main points I'd like to emphasise to you all is that the protection of our children is a fundamental right for them. Therefore, it is an obligation on all of us, from me as Archbishop to those dealing with children on a daily basis, that this fundamental right is zealously protected. The fact that an individual may not have direct contact with children does not absolve any of us from speaking out and insisting on being heard when we think a wrong is being perpetrated. My pledge to you all today is that you will be heard and we will act. Abuse of our children, of any of our people, will not be tolerated. Our children are our greatest treasure, they are our future, they are a gift to us, and we must protect them, care for them, and above all, love them. At Advent, we look forward to see our baby Jesus wrapped in swaddling clothes and born in a makeshift shelter. His only protection, the love of his parents, and the same protection we ask God to shower on all our children, not just at this Advent season, but throughout the year and throughout their journey into adulthood.